Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be finishing off that low poly train we made a few months ago and putting it on a track and um, giving it some actual smoke effects. So I'll just preview what we've got today. So let's hit play and let's watch. And basically this is what we'll be working on today. So I hope you're ready to learn some new stuff because I certainly did learning how to do this. Like using the particle system, I had a brief knowledge on how to using the circles and also making the tracks have all been a very new experience. Also I couldn't really get the wheels to turn while it moved bit too advanced for me. But anyway, um, this shows you how to set up like a low poly smoke particle thing. You could also use this for a rocket launch as well. Um, other than that, let's um, start. So what we want to do is we just literally want to go file, new, and if you already have that train image, I've got a train model, you can use that, but I'm not going to model that because I've already made a tutorial, so I'm just going to use this nice cube here as my train, but you can go ahead and model that train from the tutorial about a few months ago. So, delete the default lamp, and what we're going to do, we're going to top view, I'm just going to make my little train, there we go, and there's my train, okay, so, oh, wait, Yes. There we go. So that's my train. Now the first thing we want to do is set up our particle system. So to do this, we're going to add a plane. We're going to bring our plane up here, scale it down a bit, see if it fits in the hole. And no, it doesn't. That should fit perfectly now. Anyway, so we've got our plane here. What we first want to do is add a icosphere, add a modifier to our icosphere, decimate, and we're just going to bring it down so it has a few less polys, and we're going to call that smoke. And this is our train, and this is our smoke emitter can't even spell but anyway um, what we want to do is we're going to add a new system in the particle systems area make sure it's on emitter number of thousand emit from faces that's all good the bit we want to change right now is the render we want to set it on the smoke object we also want to up the random size and up the actual size We also want to go first into our um, scene settings, and you see the gravity is set on minus nine. That's my default one. Um, this is going to make the path of the system emit in a down, down like that. We don't really want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the gravity to be on positive ten. Therefore, our particles are going to emit nicely from the top there. Now, as you can see, our smoke is going a bit too fast for smoke. So we're going to add some damp to it. There we go. And we're also going to lower the size a bit. Add some drag and that is looking quite nice. We can also put on rotation and put that on random as well. Emitter. There we go, we're getting some nice small big ones and small and big ones. Okay, I think that's the emitter 
basically done, I think. Okay, so that's this is the basic setup I would definitely recommend using for um, my rocket ship that I got a tutorial for, and also the train smoke. So we're going to plonk that just inside there. And there we go. So that's our smoke all done. Very nice and awesome. So now we've got to set up our actual train. So to do this I'm going to add a plane first. Scale that out. I'm then going to add a curve Bezier circle here. I'm going to top view after I hide all this. The train Go into top view and we've got our Bezier circle. I'm going to scale it out and go into edit mode and hit G on this. And we can create any shape we like. Something like that looks pretty interesting. Okay, so now we've got this done. I'm going to add I'm going to add a cube and we're going to make the tracks. To do the tracks, I'm just going to compress it on the Y axis and the Z axis. I'm then going to Shift D to duplicate. Actually, let's just make it a bit thinner. Shift D to duplicate, move it across. Shift D, R, Z, 90. Into top view, wireframe mode. Move that. Scale this middle section out a bit. And there we have our basic tracks something like that doesn't have to be complex now I'm just going to join these all together you can call this a track. I'm then going to add a array modifier and with the count of around 40 put it like so and you can adjust this in case you can adjust the um, offset depending on which way your tracks are facing I'm also going to add a curve modifier and make this attached to my Bezier curve and as you can see it's attached quite nicely but I'm just going to scale it down a lot as it looks a bit too fat there and we're going to increase the count to around 80 now that's a bit too much and of course 63 is the magic number and as you can see this is looking a bit unnatural like that so what we're going to have to do is going to have to apply both of these modifiers select that face there and that face there and hit W on our keyboard and we're going to bridge edge loops and same with that one. Then we're going to hit A on our keyboard and hit remove doubles. And as you see our track is nicely set here. I'm just going to move this down onto our plane like so. Looking good. going to adjust our curve to fit nice and snug around our track. We don't want the train going off the track otherwise it'll just look silly. And that's pretty good actually. Um, yep. Now we can move this down. There we go. Now we can make our smoke and train appear again. There we go going to scale these down okay now 
I'm going to move this across and we're going to add a constraint. We're going to add a follow path constraint and it's going to follow the Bezier circle. We're going to set it to follow curve. As you see, this blue line comes up and your shape may randomly just disappear. We want to align our object as close to the track as possible. And we're going to animate the path. And as you see, our track, our train will go nicely round the path looking nice anyway as you can see that doesn't really help our smoke emitter here but we can also add a follow path constraint to our smoke emitter and it's going to follow the Bezier circle follow curve and we're going to set this one in a fixed position after we position it in a sec so at the start see it's all the way over here going to set it so it's just inside our chimney thing again and we're going to animate this path and there we go our smoke follows the track nicely and as the, as the train moves, the smoke trails behind. And now this is where your personal preference can come with the smoke emitter. I think the um, the smoke is a bit too small, so I'm just going to up the size. There we go, that looks better. And that is looking really good. So that's basically how to set up a train track and also do a low poly smoke effect that can go on your train and also on a rocket. So I've covered two tutorials in one. Um, thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next video.